Welcome back to CBTV. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Eugene. We, we are, are CBTV TV anchors. Today we would like to wish Cameron a very happy birthday. Come to the office after CBTV for a birthday pencil. Also, happy birthday to Mrs. Donner. We hope you have a great evening. Here is last week's throwback Thursday picture. Please turn in all guesses to the Green Box in Mr. Tom's room. A winner will be picked on Wednesday. Good luck. Don't forget that tomorrow is the roller, is the Crestview Roller Cave Night. Come for a night of fun with friends. It will cost five dollars to skate for the evening. We will see you there. Also, the office still has yearbooks to sell. If you do, n if you did not get a yearbook, there are still a few available in the office for ten dollars. Next, we have Sydney to give you today's weather. With the cold front coming from the north, we have a chance of showers by afternoon and the rain will be likely here by the evening. Thunderstorms are possible but not serious. The rain should be gone by mid-morning. Tuesday. Back to you, anchors. Next, we have the question of the week. What is the main character's name in the movie A Bug's Life? Please turn all answers into the orange box in Mr. Tom's room. The winner will be, the winner will be picked this Friday. Next, let's turn to Kirk with this weekend of sports. On the soccer fair, our Indy 11 played the Tampa Bay Rowdies to another sold-out crowd at IUPUI's Michael A. Carroll Stadium. The score ended up with a 1-1 one -to -one tie. On the hard court, our Panthers are looking to bounce back from the disappointing loss to the Atlantic Hawks in the first game on the first round of the NBA playoffs. The team will play tomorrow night in front of the home crowd at 7 o'clock p.m. I'm Kirk, and this has been your week in sports. Back to you, anchors. Next, we'll, we have Reese's Book Corner. He will share another fourth grade book trailer. Today, we have a creation by Michael Terry. He read the book Artemis Fowl. He really enjoyed this book. So he created a cool book trailer. Enjoy his book. Hopefully, it will convince you to read the book. Thanks for watching Reese's Book Corner. I look forward to seeing you another, to, to sharing another book with you next time. Back to you, anchors. Next we have Today in History. On this day in 1789, John Adams was sworn in, the, in as the first vice president of the United States. Our thought of the day comes from NFL quarterback Tony Romo, who turns 34 today. He says, I think you use the negative things that happened from the year before 
and from other years to to spur you to do the things you need to do to take the next step. Thank you for listening. I'm Eugene. And I'm Kaylee. Have a great Monday. Take care of yourself. And, and stay, stay responsible, responsible, respectful, and safe. And safe.